Hello, Michael here from Small Robot Studio with our first RenderMan for Blender tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're gonna be having a look at how to download and install RenderMan for Blender or RFB. So the first place obviously you wanna start is the RenderMan website, as you can see here. And we're just gonna go over to RenderMan and get RenderMan and then try for free if you're getting the non-commercial version, which I assume the most of you are. We'll click free to try, enter your details, go on from there and you'll be able to install it. I've already done this. You may also need to set up a login for the RenderMan forums. It will prompt you to do that before you get to this stage if you are to do so. And hey, make sure you're subscribed with notifications on, otherwise you may be missing out on the many tutorials that we're releasing for free each week here on YouTube. But once you have downloaded the installer, you just wanna run that you will wanna log in with your forum ID and your password. You won't have a box for a serial number because you will be using the non-commercial version. So once you've got those two uh, selected, hit next and you'll be prompted for which versions you wanna get. You wanna get the RenderMan for Blender and you also wanna make sure you get RenderMan Pro Server. Pro, don't be scared of getting Pro Server. It's important to get for RenderMan to function correctly. It does not require you to pay anything if you were using this non-commercially. So don't worry about that. Just make sure it's selected. Go ahead and install it. Now that you've installed via the installer, we need to install the plugin for Blender as well. So we're just gonna to go to this GitHub here. I am just gonna leave the link in the description to make it easier for you to find. Uh, just ensure that you have the right version of Blender installed. That's gonna be either Blender 2.83 or version 2.92. Okay, so then we're going to jump into Blender. Now the version of Blender that works with RenderMan 24 is currently 2.92. If you're watching this in the future, make sure that you are running a version that is compatible with the current release of RenderMan. They will probably be uh, bringing out updates in the future. So we're going to need to install the plugin. So we go to Preferences. We will go to Add-ons. We'll go to Install and go to where you downloaded RenderMan and install it and then make sure it's enabled and you should be good to go. Now we just need to go to our scene settings, enable RenderMan as our render engine. Uh, you have the option between RIS and XPU um, and a couple of other things. I'm gonna go over all the settings in a separate video, uh, but for the moment, we just wanna see that it is in fact rendering, which it does appear to be. So yeah, um, look out for some future tutorials on where we'll start adding shaders in. We'll go through the different settings with the renderer. Uh, I've been making tutorials for RenderMan for the last four or five years. So if you want to look at, back at any of the previous tutorials we have on the channel, go ahead and have a look. They're generally for Maya and Houdini, but if you're looking for specific shading setups, you might find some help there. Otherwise, make sure you're subscribed for the videos that will be coming out in the near future on how to use RenderMan inside of Blender. That's it for this tutorial. If you found it useful, make sure you leave a like so other people can find it. And if you haven't already, make sure you subscribe as we're bringing out CG and illustration tutorials every week, just like this one. Become a patron and access tutorial assets, bonus content, a private discord, and more by clicking the link below.